Frankfurt Ave, the Mayfair Business Improvement District. We're going to go check out one of the local merchants, the Art History Store, where they make cool t-shirts. Look at this. Right here in the Mayfair. They make it right here inside the store. And would you guys just make, like, seasonal stuff? Like, pop culture, sports. Not just uh, not just horror movies, but you guys did baseball stuff, yeah. football stuff, and oh, that kind of looks like a a Banksy. Yeah, it was inspired by that. Yeah, yeah. And then they got look at this five dollar rack. This is you come here, you come here with twenty five dollars. You can buy your shirt for every uh, day of the week, yep. besides the weekends. I don't, I don't change my shirts on the weekends. That's not bad. Anything good? Let's see. Oh, look, you get some union shit. Dope. Yeah. All right. What, how many days a week you guys open? Uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Sunday's, Sunday's the Lord's Day. Yeah. That's a good thing. All right. Oh, man, check out these hats. Oh, these hats are incredible. Yeah, man. Let's go. All right. Is it a bus? Is it a trolley? My friend, that is a bus trolley. And I know, I know it has a different name. It's an electric trolley. or I don't care. It's a bus trolley. There you go. And this thing runs crazy. This thing runs like every, uh, I think like every five minutes. So if you come down to Frankfurt Ave, around Frankfurt and Princeton's where I'm at now. Here's the Stein floral shop now, unlike the t-shirt shop. They're open on Sundays. Look at this. I'm doing this walk in October. I think it's October 23rd. What's this? Did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I thought you could be. All right, you stay there. See, this is how safe the Mayfair Business Improvement District is. I can fly higher than an eagle. Stay right there. Because you are the wind beneath my wings. There goes my hero. Watch him as he comes. Yes. Every time, I'll drive around in my neighborhood sometimes. I'll be like going somewhere. And yeah, when it, on wind, windy days, trash cans blow away. And when I get out of my car, I really, I really feel like I'm a hero when I do that. Because somebody could have died. That trash can could have blown right in the middle of the street. <sighs> oh. oh, thank you. She's here to give me a certificate. And this, we got the... Look at this produce stand from 1968. How awesome. Reals on Frankfurt Ave. I think they, I saw a post for oh, in the uh, Mayfair Business Improvement District Facebook page, which you should follow. There was a link at the bottom of this video. Um, I think they've been open over 30 years, 33 years, I think. I think that's the time. And uh, also, don't forget, my favorite parade of the year. Here we are! My favorite parade of the year is the uh, Mayfair Business... Uh, my, no, the, the, it's called the Mayfair Holmesburg Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's going to be happening on this date. Um... So my favorite event of the year is coming up right here. I think this is where it ends, right here. Frankfurt and Cotman. Fair Thanksgiving Day Parade. The Mayfair slash Holmesburg Thanksgiving Day Parade. I think it starts all the way down on Ron Street. Comes down to here, Frankfurt and Cotman. Um, and it is a fantastic parade. And uh, you should come down here, check out the parade, and maybe... Uh, Walk around the Mayfair Business Improvement District. Look, the neighborhood's so nice, the crosswalks have M engraved in it.
I'm gonna let you go real inside here. None of these stores know I'm coming in. Most of them uh, don't know that I make videos for the Mayfair Business District. So it is really uh, cringy to watch me go into these places and say, hey, uh, let me make a video in your store. In fact, no one's even asked me to do this. I'm just doing this to myself. I feel uh, the Mayfair Business Improvement District paid for the e-bike, and I, I feel really, I'm very aware that I haven't quite ridden that thing much. And the thing is, I actually have. It's just I, I get into a lot of accidents when I ride it, and I can't use the footage because uh, I'm in pain. So I'm going to only use it really on bike trails from now on. And I have a ride planned on Valley Forge and other places. But, yeah, I have to be more precise when where I ride that. This is the uh, Mayfair Diner. And I heard that there's a JFK table in here. And this is going to be fun. I'm going to actually have it recording so you can hear the douche chili thing. Because here's the thing. Uh, nobody knows who I am. Right? So so now you gotta explain to them. Oh. Uh oh I hate this. Um I'm I'm actually I'm actually here because I work for the Mayfair Business Improvement District and I'm making content for them. Oh really? and somebody told me you have a table that JFK sat at. Oh I don't maybe, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Oh. Well, don't you I mean, work here? Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, all right, so this is the Mayfair Diner. Look how great it looks inside here. Uh, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama. There, there is no JFK table, um, but here it is. Okay, all right, I'm out all right that, that worked out well. She, she sold a movie. Black and yellow makes me think of that. Uh, I think it's a little Wayne song, which I will never listen to because it makes me think of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right? Why would you listen to that? I love his songs, though. I, he he he, uh, he makes the good music. I like his music. Lil Wayne. <clears throat> Inside this old American Legion building was a museum. Is it a bus? Is it a trolley? That, my friend, is a bus trolley. This was... Uh, I started off as Steve's Bug Off Museum. And inside there was a museum dedicated to bugs and reptiles. Here is the oldest bridge in the United States. Right here. Look at that. Is that a bus? Is it a trolley? That, my friend's a bus trolley. Here we go. Scooting over history, hon. Cheryl asked me the other day, when you say hun, who are you talking to? And I just realized I'm doing an impression of my grandmother. That's that's how my grandmom talked. Man, look how pretty as a postcard. Speaking of postcards, if you're a Patreon member, I have half the postcards filled out. I have to fill out the other half today. And we should get them labeled up and stamped out. Hopefully by, uh, uh, by Monday next week. I want you guys to get them before Halloween because they're a happy Halloween postcard. And if you want to sign up for Patreon, there's a link in the bottom of the video. If you give me five bucks or ten bucks a month, you get a postcard and bonus videos. Um, you get early previews. You get lots of early pre not lots, but a few early previews. And you get some content exclusively for you guys. All right. Built circa 1697, the Lenape Indian Trail crossing is the oldest roadway bridge in continuous use in the nation. Ooh, ooh gotta go slow. Oh, this might be beautiful this time of year. Oh, this could be deadly this time of year on scooter, though. See, if, you, if you're not a... Uh, Ooh, I don't know. If you're not a scooter professional like I am, uh, 
you might not notice, but dead leaves are very... Sometimes they can be slippery. Sometimes they can make your tires slide out. Oh, oh hello, bike friend. If I could stay on level ground, I might be okay. By the way, this is where I wanted to go. I've been wanting to come here to get away from the world. This is where I, uh, I reset, as they say. I have to reset my brain, calm down. And uh, this is the very first shot I took for my YouTube channel. Uh, this wasn't as overgrown, and I stood here, and I did this. Hello, army mateys! I am the Philly Captain. Welcome to my YouTube channel. When uh, Labor Day weekend, I was in Colorado in this town called Telluride. And I was really stunned by the beauty of Telluride, Colorado. And, you know... Pennypack Park ain't too bad either. This is where you play the montage of all the uh, other clips you saw. Yeah, I just talked to a guy who asked, was asking me about the camera and I told him what camera I use, and he goes, oh, maybe I'll save up and wait, and I said, well, what do you want to do? He goes, oh, I want to just take pictures, and I was like, we'll start taking pictures. I was like, you don't need, you don't need a good camera. I said, I started my YouTube channel on a $99 Android phone, so just get practice, get good, and then when you get ready for it, you get a good camera, or you find something good on Black Friday, but don't let, don't let money hold you back. Figure your way around. Yo, ma! He's Tony Robbins all of a sudden. It's pretty as a postcard. Can, can I take a picture with you? To, just to show you that you exist? Sure. Okay, there you go. There's <laughs> Northeast Monk. Thank you, sir. Where, where do you where do you monk at? Viral thing. There's a viral clip. I don't know. I think it might be just Philly viral. But there's a, a monk, there's a painting of a monk from the 1600s. And there's a joke going around saying, like, he looks like every dude from Mayfair or Northeast. And uh, there's a, you know, here's a picture of the viral meme. I, I was telling him, I was like, dude, there's a viral thing about the monk. Do you know about it? And he's like, no, I'm a, I'm a monk. What a young guy to be a monk. How interesting. Oh, he seemed nice. He seemed nice. He monks downtown. He monks at the church downtown, he said. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of the park. See, I hate talking to people. There's something wrong with me. That conversation went fine. And now, like, I don't know if you do this, but I do it. I just analyze every conversation after it's done. And I'm just like, what a douchebag I was to that guy. But he smiled. He had a good time. I, you know, whatever. But now, every conversation I have, that's something I do. I don't know what it is. It's, it's anxiety. It's anxiety. And, and also, it's OCD. That's, that's, yo, ma, he's in all. Oh, I never show. Oh, I, I never showed the guy talking to his mom. Yo, ma, he's analyzing himself. I'm outside of Pennypack Park. It's right over here to this side. Check out this little quiet section here in Mayfair. A lot of my friends, when I was, uh, I got know, like 18, 19, 20, all my friends lived in this little section. A lot of them did. My Northeast punk rock friends. Mad at the world. Mad at the world they were, punk rockers. 
Actually, they were. They were just, they liked good music. Want to share a fantastically fun, oh, you know what we're near? We're near Frank, uh, Sylvester Stallone's old house. Let me see how far we are. This now. is uh, Lincoln High School. This is where Stallone uh, went to high school when he lived. Not too far from here. I think like five minutes from here. Uh, school's letting out, so I'm not going to get real close. But this is where, uh, yeah, he went to high school. And if you ever see the movie Rocky III, uh, Lincoln High School marching band is there at the presentation of the uh, Rocky statue at the art museum. And this is it. This is the tough street. Rocky Balboa. This is the street he walked to go to high school. I don't know if he walked. Oh, it's a little bit of a walk. Maybe he rode his bike. I guess he would walk. Right down here. Mower Street. Moyer. Oh, so are you. Well, that's nice that you said that to me. And I, I believe the house was on the market recently, not too long ago. Got right here. I think it was up on the market. Um, oh man, when was it? Like a year ago? I'm not 100% on that. And there it is. That's it. It's this house right here. Sylvester Stallone lived here. I don't know. Did Jackie Stallone live here? I know Frank Stallone lived there. This is always whenever I talk about Sylvester St Stallone, I uh, I gotta talk about Frank Stallone. And that time he yelled at my dad during the filming of Rocky Balboa, I was actually at the art museum steps watching Rocky run up the steps, and uh, Rocky was in character and he was talking to all the fans of Philadelphia. And uh, he, uh, so Stallone was like, hey, you know, we got the movie coming out. Everything's going good, you know, everything's going good, looking good, feeling good. And my dad said, yo, Rock, can I get your autograph? And then Frank Stallone looked at my dad and he said, hey, why do you got to ruin it? He was having fun. And I, I, I think right after it happened, I laughed at my dad I looked at my dad and I said ha ha Frank Stallone yelled at you I always I, I love that story it's my favorite story in the world I got ruined it it was, it was a character yeah, I, apparently Stallone is a method actor I think that's what it's called you know what's funny I was a theater major I ain't got a lot of battery power I drove I drove the wrong way to get to Sly's house and then, so now, now, I might have to be hoofing it on the hilly streets of Holmesburg Circle. Hey, oh, uh, Frank, when uh, people ask for my autograph, I want you to yell with them. No problem. No problem, Sly. I'm taking a gamble here. I don't know where I'm at. I'm trying to get back to the Mayfair Business Improvement District. And, uh... I feel like we're going uphill. Not a lot of battery power left. Here. And if you if you see, you see how it turns right here? I don't know which way it goes. You make that left hand turn up ahead. I could wind up in Judietta. It's very nervous. It's very I'm very nervous. It's not very nervous. It's me. And I'm very nervous. Now we're about a mile and a half from Frankfurt Ave back here. At Penny Pack Park. And this, I believe this may be the longest scooter ride I've ever done. Hold on, pause. I believe this is, I've never drained the Gut Punch. That's the name of the scooter. I never, uh, I never drained the battery power this low. It's very exciting. It is pretty down here, though. I hope you non-colorblind people appreciate the leaves, what's left of them. I guess I should do Valley Forge this week, because if I wait another week or two, there one windy day, son, and all the trees will be gone, all the leaves will be gone, the trees, hopefully it's not that windy of a day where the trees get blown down. That does happen down here from time to time, they have people 
who actually drive through the park with chainsaws. And if there's ever like a tree in the middle of the, uh, you know, track here, or whatever, trail, not track. Uh, ooh, 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 potholes and divots, pay attention. Uh, they just, they just chop up that wood. And we're almost back to the oldest bridge. Oh, Jesus. In the United States. We got two bars of battery power left. I think we're going to be okay to make it to the car. I'm sure you're concerned. Yeah, I'm a, I don't care. I mean, if he, if he walks, it doesn't... The video, you know, doesn't affect me whatsoever. Oh my God, there's so many of them. There they go, and off they go, into the woods. Yeah, I can hear them running through the woods back there. That was, uh, that was pretty neat. You can see deer in here all the time. I think once in a while, let me know if you know this to be true. I think like once a year, they'll let bow hunters into the park to like thin their herd. I don't know if that's urban legend or not. There we go. Back to paradise. There's one of those trees that came down. The guys came by with the saw. Sawed it up. So keep on scooting. And here we are back on Frankfurt Ave. Right at the historical marker for the Penny Pack Crick Bridge. You may say Creek. That means you're not from Philadelphia. Don't know why we say Crick, but we do. And we know it's wrong. Isn't that funny? Like I mentally choose to say Crick instead of Creek. All right, see the old bridge? These are part of the old bridge. Okay, here we go. Crossing the old bridge. Look at that. History in the making. Is it a bus? Is it a trolley? That, my friend, is a bus trolley. Going 12 miles, Marty. 12 miles per hour. Right there. Home of the 1697 Penny Pack Creek Bridge, Holmesburg. This one, this was good. This was good for the soul. Got the... Give a shout out to the Mayfair Business Improvement District. Make, don't forget to follow them on Facebook. Uh, don't forget to check out the Mayfair Holmesburg Thanksgiving Day Parade, right? Why not? The hell else you doing? And uh, what else? I guess that's it, right? Don't forget to check out my merch. I have a Patreon, and you can book me on Cameo. <laughs>